Just ahead, no matter how hard you try to save money, you could still be leaking cash and not even know it. We don't want that to happen any longer. So this morning, we are helping you plug those financial leaks. Jamie Zanziger is Special Projects Director for Women's Day Magazine. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. It's all these little things that can really add up to a lot. And one of the first ones is our bank accounts, companies offer all of these flex spending plans. A lot of people, though, don't take advantage of them. You are literally throwing money away if you don't take advantage of your company's flexible spending program, which lets you set aside pre-tax money for healthcare expenses like doctor's appointments mm -hmm. and prescriptions. Surprisingly, though, like you said, 85% of companies offer flexible spending accounts, but only 23% of employees take advantage wow. of them. So if you do the math, if you set aside $1,000 on which you're normally taxed 20 25%. That's $250 in your pocket. That's amazing. And you can also do it for child care expenses as well, which can really be a help. Yes. So two great things to take advantage of there. Turning down the heat on your washing machine, should we always wash in cold? Yes. Wash in cold. Even your whites, there are great detergents on the market. And the reason is, is because in order to wash in cold, a washing machine uses 90% less energy because 90%? it doesn't have to heat up the water. 90%. And that translates into a $30 to $40 savings per year for you. That's So huge. cold water is the way to go. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> also, we have so many gadgets around the house nowadays, even phone chargers. Unplug everything when you're not using it. Even when you're not using it, those electronic devices are sapping energy that you're paying for. So if you plug everything into power strips and take two minutes before bed every night and turn them off, you could save between $100 and $200 on your electricity costs. That's up to 8% of your total household That's electricity. That's amazing. You've already found like 500 bucks for us, and we're, we're not even halfway through here. Charitable deductions, and this covers everything. You should just basically always make sure you get a receipt. Seat. Yes, hang on to your, dis your receipts, whether you're donating clothes or furniture or even cash, because you can deduct the fair market value of all of those donations come tax time. You know, a great idea is to use the free service at itsdeductible.com. It'll help you track all of your donations, find the value of those items, and then it actually loads them into your TurboTax form for you. I love that idea, itsdeductible.com. Okay, noting that one. Also, the overdraft protection fees, which have just gotten out of control, $35 in some cases, banks are charging you as they help you cover uh -huh. a transaction. Yes, opt out of these programs. What you're doing if you opt into overdraft protection is giving your bank permission to take 10 to $35 every single time your account is overdrawn, and that's money you don't have in the first place. Right, so you shouldn't so, be spending it. Right, so it's so much smarter to just keep track of your balance and to sign up for those free alerts via text message or email when your account dips below a certain number. Great idea, I love those alerts. Uh, you say when we go out to eat, one of the things we really should not be spending money on are drinks, alcoholic drinks. This is a tough one for many of us, but alcohol is really one of the highest marked up items at, at restaurants. So Crane's New York business actually reported that one New York restaurant marks up its wine 575%. What? So know what you're drinking, be really aware of the wines that you're choosing, and maybe even have a glass of wine at home or choose a BYOB restaurant. Also, you say cell phones, as we know, the plan can really get you. It's easy, though, to find the right plan just by looking at what you use. Right. And anybody who's gotten charged um, overtime minutes, socked with those fees, Ooh. knows that cell phone providers make a mint off of these. They can charge you up to 45 cents per minute. So it's a great idea to halfway through the month, check your balance, see where you land. And then sometimes you, a provider will even let you pay a 5 to $10 one-time fee to extend your minutes for the month. Great idea. Finally, my printer. Why, why, am I, <laughs> why is my printer sucking money out of my bank account? Well, refill cartridges are so expensive. In fact, one study found that uh, printer cartridges can cost up to 500% more than the price of the printer over its lifetime. Wow. So when you're buying a printer, make sure to check out how much those cartridges are going to cost and factor that in. And if you're not in the market for a printer, you can turn in your refill cartridges at places like Office Depot mm -hmm. and Staples, and they'll give you $2 back in store credit. So that's just free money. We'll take everything we can get. Yep. Jamie Zanziger, <laughs> great tips as always. Thanks Thank for coming you back so this much. Morning. For more ways you can plug those money leaks, just log on to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.